Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be all about products that I regret buying. I've never done a video like this before, but I was going through my makeup and I picked out all these bits that I just kind of regret buying so much and I'm just like why is this in my collection like and some of them I really don't like and I've tried them before I did ask you guys on snapchat if you wanted to see this video and you guys really wanted to so thank you guys for always wanting to see you know content from me so I really appreciate it and also if you guys want to know what lip product I'm wearing it's a Colourpop lippy stick in Capiche, it's one of my favourite colours. But yeah, I'm just going to jump straight into the video. Let's talk about foundations. Now, I don't mean to bash any of the brands in this video, like, in no way possible. Some of the brands that I'm going to mention are, like, brands that I still like, like, I still use their other products, but these specific products are just not for me. They're just not working for me. The first one that I'm going to talk about is L'Oreal. If you guys don't know this foundation yet, this is the L'Oreal infallible total cover foundation i saw an ad on this recently because this recently came out in the uk and um i saw jamie genevieve like using it to cover tattoos and i'm just like oh my god this is proper full coverage like i need to try this i need to do a review on it so i go on to looking at the shades online and i'm just like where's the color range where is it so yeah as usual i always get disappointed about the color range um, I got the shade Amber which looks absolutely grey and disgusting on me. I really don't want to put it on my hand but let me just show you guys. I actually bought this online so it's kind of my fault but look. And I feel like the more I blend it the more grey it looks. So I went to go look at the darker shade and it's actually so dark. The, the one above this is the darkest colour in the UK so... I was like, okay, maybe I can mix, but the tone of this one is so wrong for my skin tone. I was just like, there's not even at any point. And also, it's not my, it's not for my skin type. Like, I was willing to try out a foundation that was good for oily combination skin, and um, because you guys asked me so many times to try out foundations that are good for oily skin and stuff, and you guys know I have dry skin, so it's kind of like set it to fail with me because I obviously don't have oily skin and it's probably going to look gross on my skin. I've decided not to do any reviews or try out any foundations that are not for my skin type because I feel like it's just going to set it out to fail anyways. So there's not really any point for me to do it. Maybe in the future I'll do a few if it says more for like normal or oily, but this is matte. This is drying and like I've tried it on my skin, it literally, my skin like drinks it up and it just gets all flaky. So yeah, the, the big issue was the shade. If there was my colour out there, I would definitely try it and I would have definitely done a review for it. But this colour is just so grey and pink and I just, it's just not going to work for me. But I did try it on my tattoo and it does kind of cover a tattoo. I don't know how they did it on Jamie Genevieve, but it does cover a tattoo um so yeah i'm kind of disappointed with this i don't even know what to do with it it's just lying in my drawer next foundation i want to talk about is this um pure brightening serum foundation by bare minerals this is bare skin range um don't get me wrong guys this shade is perfect for me but I don't know what happened with this like I seriously don't when I did the review and when I tried it when I've been wearing it like it was okay but as m the more I tried to wear it I feel like it's because it I don't even know I don't even know what happened with this foundation I'm gonna try and mix it you're obviously meant to really mix it but it feels it feels like a dry serum and I did I think I said this in my video when I did the review if you guys want to see the review it will be linked in the info box but seriously this is not for my skin like my I've just I realized that whenever I put a serum foundation on my skin it just separates and it's just not working for my skin so any serum based type of makeup products I'm not going to try anymore because it just won't sit properly on my skin that's what kind of happened maybe my skin changed or whatever but it's not good for my my skin it does not work for me and my mum tried it and she was just smearing it all over her face like it doesn't settle in like it's just like wiping foundation on your face so yeah that's what happened with this one now on to concealers i'm actually really disappointed about this i am really disappointed about this one and um, it's the sephora bright future gel serum concealer so like I said, anything with like any makeup product with a serum in it is not gonna work for my skin. Like this does not do anything for me under my eyes or on my skin or whatever. Like the the colour's like okay. So can you see how like that's the but yeah the colour's amazing 
but I feel like this separates on me. I wore it to work the other day and seriously it just didn't look good on my on my under eyes. Like it was separating, it was dry and it was, does the same thing as a foundation does to be honest. Um, I have the shade Peak and Pie. I also have another concealer that I recently bought. It's the Milani Retouch and Erase concealer. Now I love Milani products. You guys know like this foundation is like my favourite foundation ever and I'm actually wearing it today. But this concealer is not my shade. I have worn it and I think I've worn it in an Instagram tutorial once but you can tell like it's kind of light. It's a bit light and it borderline goes to the grey side when I blend it out so it's just too light and I got the shade medium. There's a one there's one shade above this so I don't know how that would work. The formula is okay but I just regret buying this because it's just the wrong shade. And I don't really like the applicator like this is that's what the applicator looks like and I just feel like it's useless, like it doesn't really work. I just end up putting it on the back of my hand. If you're lighter skin tone than me, it probably work with you, for you, like the formula's full coverage and everything. But it's just like, it's just too light, look at that. That's too light for me. I've got so much makeup on the back of my hand, I feel like I'm gonna end up putting it in my hair. Okay, now we're on to like face products. The first thing is this one by Maybelline. Now you guys know I love Maybelline, but this product it's kind of my fault as well, but it's this master contour stick kind of thing with like the two colours. I did pick the wrong one of these, it's the shade light and I know there's a darker one, but this doesn't, like the contour shade doesn't even show up on me, it goes grey, look. The contour shade just looks grey and the highlight shade just looks grey. So <laughs> I don't really know how this works on the skin, but because I got the wrong shade, I kind of regret buying this, so I thought I'd include this in this video. It's just like lying in my makeup stuff, so I thought, let me just get rid of this. I don't need it in there. <sighs> this next one pains me. Like, I, I don't even want to include this in this video, but since I got it, I haven't even reached for it because it doesn't work for my skin. And it's the ColourPop Highlighter in Candyman. Like, don't get me wrong, the formula and everything is really nice, but I just feel like I don't know how to work with it. This is what it looks like, like it looks really pretty but it's just too dark for me. It looks like, it doesn't even look like a highlighter, it looks like I'm putting metallic shadow on my cheeks. Like it doesn't give a bright glow like this, it gives more of like a dark sheen. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like I, again I got, if I went with a lighter colour I probably would like it more but just because of the consistency I feel, I don't, I don't know, I just don't really like the highlighters. That's how I feel, I love the other products, like Colourpop is one of my favourite brands, but this doesn't really work for me, to be honest. So finally we're going to move on to brow, uh, not brow products, eye products. The first one is this Eyelure Lash Glue, this is what it looks like, and I kind of got this because I wanted a lash glue, but it's latex free. I'm actually really nervous right now because I dropped my camera yesterday and it's having trouble focusing. I do have insurance on it, but if I send this if I send this camera out, like I'm gonna struggle. But as I was saying, this is a latex-free lash glue, and oh my goodness, this has been breaking my lashes. Like my lashes is my favorite trait of, of my face. Um I have been I, I would say that I'm very lucky to have like a good decent length of lashes and I love my lashes like it's my favorite trait of my face and if I put something on my lashes that will make them break or anything like I get I will hate the product instantly this product is so hard to get off you know how you wear like a, a normal lash glue with latex in it you can kind of peel it off but this it kind of hurts when you take it off and I, I am wearing it today because I don't even have any more lash glue left, like other lash glue. But it is perfect, like it dries quickly, it sticks on really well, but when you take it off, it's like, it's like glue stuck to your lid and you kind of have to scratch it off to take it off. And I would use a cleansing oil, I would use oils, I would use waterproof um, makeup remover and it will not budge and it stays clumped in my roots for like days so I just hate it so much even though I have used it again today. Next up is another Maybelline product and oh my goodness this is so chalky like it's not even creamy whatsoever. It's this big eyes kind of like eyeliner with the white and black one. So for me eyeliners are supposed to be like super creamy but this just it makes like a pencil kind of noise when you rub it on your hand, like that's just not right. 
it's very chalky and it I feel like it I have to pop a tug on my eyes to make this go on my waterline and like to me waterlines are super sensitive so you want it to be extra creamy if you're putting anything there so that's why I don't really like this like I just don't like the formula it would have been good if they were creamy but then when I think about it like they're so big I don't know what I would do when it I started to like get down and it would be too big to put in the waterline so I just don't really like this product overall <laughs> and then the last and final one is this Lash Sensational Mascara and before you even start, you guys know I love this mascara, but this is the waterproof one. Don't know why I bought it. I've realised that I don't like, I don't mind waterproof eyeliner, but when it comes to my lashes, I don't like anything waterproof at all. Or anything hard to get off, so I feel like that's why I don't like this. But anyways guys, those are the products that I kind of regret buying. They all got those their own reasons, but... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see another one of these in the future let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and subscribe if you're new. Um, hi my name's is Anushka. Um, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!